So we are working the pagination. Now let's go to the index component and here is the index component and this is the response that display all the album in our page. So what I like to do here is I'll cut this from here and then here I'll make one method and I'll name this as get albums and I'll write this here so that I can reuse this. Now I can write here as a this dot get albums and it should work exactly same as before. So let me refresh and you can see everything is fine. Now here I'll make an object as a meta and it will collect all the meta. So here I'll write at this dot meta equals to response dot data dot meta. And now I can pass this in the pagination meta 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 and my sorry meta and my pagination component will receive this props so pro ps props meta and now let's see what you get here so I'll display here meta meta and let's see here so you can see here we got some metadata here and your current page is one and the last page is three okay now we can get the pagination by looping this okay so we got everything uh, right here and now we have to uh, remove this from here and we need a previous we need a next and we have still two more of this so I'll remove one and now we have one so here we can loop this so here I'll write this and my anchor tag should be closed sorry so let's get this again and uh, I'll remove this one and then this is the anchor tag and here so now I can loop here and get the page initial link so I'll write v for p in so we have everything in the metadata okay so we have to loop here so here I can write v for be in meta dot and we have the last page so here we have the last page as three so last underscore page and let's display p and you should get here now the link p now let's go here and let's refresh and let's go down and you can see here so one two we're getting three double so oh this is because of this so remember now everything is fine now what we have to do is here now we have to whenever user clicks here so let's refresh this and let's go here whenever user clicks one we need to get the page change okay so for that so here is this and here I have to make a method so uh, we have so here will be the click dot prevent P R E V E N to prevent and then here I'll write change page C H N Z change page and then here I'll pass the current page P and now this method will emit the event and tell our parent component that we are changing the page. So now let's write here data and then return and here will be the methods METH or as methods and here will be the chains bytes so this will emit an event so let's write a page and so to emit an event we can just write here this dollar emit and then we can give the name so I'll give it as a name and then what we want to emit we want to emit this page current page so now we have to go this body pagination component in our index and then here we'll list on this so here we'll write p on pagination and equals to method and our method will be the get albums so here we'll write the get albums now and we have the scenes we are emitting since the page so we need to include this page here so we'll write here page and mm, let's make this down and let's keep comma and params p a r a m s params and here will be the page so now let's see this so if you go here and refresh and if i click 
first, second, and you can see we're in the second base. Third, we're in the third base. And again, you can go back. Now let's make this active. So whenever I click the two, it should be highlighted with the active. Okay, so let's give class. So we have to give here active class and uh, here is the link here and we'll give here bind the class so here write class and here we'll have active ACTI be active so when this will be active if meta dot current page C U R R E N T current page equals to P now let's do this so if you refresh this and scroll down and you can see this is by default active we are in the page one and this is active now this is active okay this is great now let's work on the previous so whenever I in three whenever I click the previous then I should it should decrease decrease every time and I should go to two and then again one okay so let's work on this and to work on this we have here previous and the next button and here I'll get this and I'll make this and here we'll make the click event so uh, first uh, let's make click dot prevent pre pre p and prevent and we have the change methods change p so here will be the change p and I'll write this meta dot the current page I'll increment this page one so in the previous I should decrement this page one so let's see this now so if I refresh this and if you scroll and if you go to three and if we click previous and you can see every time it's decremented and I mean the first page so we'll do the same thing for the next as well so let's go here and we'll paste this here and this time this should be incremented plus one so now let's go here sorry something wrong here mm, so it should be like this now fine so now we'll phrase this and if I click the next then I'm in two if I click the next and I'm in three if I click the previous then it's working now only thing left is that uh, we need to disable this button when I'm in page one I should disable this when I'm page three I should not be able to click this one okay so let's open that so for that uh, we are here and uh, in the class and here we can give another class uh, here I class and disable D I S A B L E D disabled so when we want to disable this if meta dot current page equals to one so if it's one then we need to disable and we'll copy the same so let's see this and let's go here and now you can see this is disabled so if I'm in two this is enabled if I go one now this is disabled and let's copy this again and paste over in the next here and paste here so if the current page should be equals to the meta dot last page here now so meta dot last underscore page so now let's refresh this and current is disabled and if I go to 3 and if I click so it still is summating so we need to handle this so if I go to 1 this is disabled but if I go to the phase 3 it's not disabled so we need to handle this so how can we do that I think there is just a way is to check whether we are in the beginning of the page or we are in the last page so here you can see we have the change page so here we'll write a condition so if page is less or equals to 0 or page greater than this dot meta dot last underscore page then we return nothing so now let's write return and now this is not submit uh, this is not make the clickable link when you go to the last page so if I click the next it's working next working and if I click again 
and you can see here nothing happened and if I go here go here and even if I click nothing happened so great so we completed the business section as well